Good evening to you. The votes are in, but tonight it is still too close to call. The Republican primary for governor ends with a razor thin margin between two candidates. A very exciting night. Less than 100 votes separating Matt Bevan and James Comer tonight. Hal Heiner has conceded, and Will T. Scott is far behind. Comer is asking for a re canvas. We have live team coverage tonight, beginning with Garrett Weimer at the Bevan campaign in Louisville. Garrett. The room is starting to clear out. Well, if you thought it would be quick, if you thought it would be easy, you were wrong. And supporters here rolled the roller coaster all night. The highs of Hal Heiner's concession speech, the lows of James Comer's lead. But in the end, well, frankly, there is no end, not yet at least. The Associated Press has said the race is too close to call, and James Comer has asked for a re canvas of the votes. Tonight, Bevin called that his small lead an honor and a privilege and thanked supporters who were here inside the Galt House. I am calling out to you tonight to join us in this effort because we are indeed Kentucky and we have much work to accomplish, but with, his, with your help, we're going to make it happen. If you love Kentucky, we ask you to come on board because we are Kentucky. Bevin spoke for about 25 minutes here before his supporters and a crowd that had been through so many ups and downs throughout the night actually remained enthusiastic throughout his speech, even joining him in a refrain of a tagline that uh, he seemed to coin tonight, we are Kentucky. Uh, they joined him in that uh, chorus line throughout his speech. But uh, signing off tonight from the Golf uh, House Hotel in Louisville, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, thank you. Now, James Comer is not giving up. He trailed by thousands of votes much of tonight, but as more counties reported results, he quickly closed that gap with Bevin. Phil Pendleton is live with the Comer campaign in Frankfurt. Phil, what a roller coaster. It has been an incredibly wild night here at this hotel in Frankfurt. First, it looked like that Comer was going to have the early lead, then Bevin took over, then Comer came back, and then it looked like that uh, Matt Bevin won this race by an ever so close margin of votes. Fighting all the way until. James Comer says if the vote totals hold true, he will not be a sore loser and he will support Matt Bevin this fall. We have so many people that have worked so hard. We overcame so much money. We overcame some bad press with some newspapers in this state. We overcame a lot. The mood inside the room was quiet, then loud and jubilant as it appeared that Comer had retaken the lead. At one point, supporters said that he had 150 votes with 200 more to count over Matt Bevin. But when the final tally was taken, Bevin had just over an 80 point lead. The young people, the people that held fundraisers. Guys, we raised $2.3 million in this campaign. And again, James Comer says he will ask for every canvas because of the very slim margin of victory that it appears that has gone to Matt Bevin. But he says that if it holds true that Matt Bevin is the winner, he says, quote, I will walk hand in hand with you to get you as many votes as possible this fall. Live in Frankfurt, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Thank you, Phil. WKYT political editor Bill Bryant says the closeness of the Bevan and Comer votes makes this a special night with no clear answers tonight. We have seen history made here in terms of the razor thin margin of this, and we probably don't have answers at this point as to where this race is going. And it once again shows you that, in a way, every vote really does count. So, what happens now? There is no runoff election in Kentucky and no automatic recounts. State law allows for recanvassing only if a county clerk or a county board of elections sees a problem or if a candidate makes a written request to the Secretary of State. Comer says he owes it to his supporters to request such a recanvass. And just a few minutes ago, we caught up with Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes. If a recanvas uh, request is made to my office, we will uh, make sure to process that expeditiously, whether it's certain precincts or county or statewide, uh, and it will be held, according to law, May 28th, starting at 9 a.m.